Hey everybody, and welcome to another exciting edition of 252 Theater Online. We're so glad you guys could join us. Yes. My name is Mr. Jesse. And I am Alicia. That's my co-host, and we are yes. here and ready to have some fun on this online shindig we've got going on. That's right. And what is this little shindig that we're doing today, Mr. Well, Jesse? why don't you tell them, Alicia? I would love to. See, right. in 252, we love talking all about the big ideas for this month. Yes. And a big idea is just something that God is going to do inside of you to change the world around you. Yeah, things like compassion and generosity and uh, this month's big idea, which of course yeah. is, let's reveal it now. Well, I mean, actually, Ms. Jose, I mean, before you do that, before you do that uh, I just, uh, I was just hoping maybe I could present something to the folks watching this at home, you know, a little bit of opportunity I have for you them. Wanna, you want to present something right now? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean we can get, we'll get back to the big idea, of course. Of course. <laughs> okay, what exactly so. are you wanting to present? What's this about? Well, um, I am holding a little bit of a fundraiser, and uh, it'll be really fun. It's something that will spice up your fall festivities, and it'll be you'll have a super festive month at home, and uh, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a fundraiser. Okay, so but this actually does have something to do with the big idea. Um, absolutely, of course it does. Of course. So it does. something yeah. to do with the big idea. Yeah. Something to help these guys at home with their fall decorations, you said? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And it's a fundraiser? Spice things up. It is a fundraiser. Okay, See, well, that works, right? Fundraiser. Yeah, I mean, I guess you know. if it's going to help someone else out, we're doing exactly. something to help someone, that's fine. Let's, exactly. Let's do it. Okay. Well, I have an opportunity for you guys at home. And we can always edit it out later. Am I right? Beauty of online. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. It offended. That's okay. Um, well, I have a uh, raffle for you guys at home and an okay. opportunity to win... Ta-da! That oh right, it's on it's on screen too. Wait, wait, see, it. isn't it what amazing? Isn't that big? Hold on, you're holding a raffle for that pumpkin. Yeah, it's just it's a, just a dollar each ticket. That's yeah. huge. That's isn't the, that the world's largest pumpkin. That's the actual size. Look at that mini yeah. next to it. That's yeah. amazing. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. So you know, Hold dollar on, for a ticket, and Alicia, if you win, many, you could get that. <laughs> how many tickets have you sold to this thing? Oh, like almost 500. You've raised $500 for your fundraiser? I mean, I have three tickets left. Okay. So not Listen, exactly. I, but you know what? These guys are online. It would take them forever to get you. I, I will just buy your last three tickets. Is that really? right? Yes. You, you want? Okay. I yeah, mean, my sure. kids have been wanting to go get pumpkins for weeks. If we I mean, won that big pumpkin, are you kidding? They would lose their mind. Okay. They, they would love that. They That's would right? Love that. Okay. Uh, yep. I'm going to need to see the green here. I see. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's real. Why would I give you a kick? Can right. Okay. Right. Sorry. 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 Back to it. Back to it. Here right. are your Man, that's three exciting. tickets. That's very, that's very a huge excited. pumpkin. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> thank you. I mean, wow. You know. Well, I mean, now that I've sold all of my tickets, I, I mean, do you want to see who won? You want to do this now? <laughs> I mean, why not? I mean, I've sold them all. So. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yes. Sure. Well, uh, drum roll on your legs. Got it. Let me just pick out a ticket here, and the winner. Of the raffle is two zero zero eight seven five eight seven five. That's that's, that's mine. No way. Yes, that's, that's you, you won. won. I won. You, the, you you won it. I won the pumpkin. You my, right there. Jesse, See? you won. Okay. Eight seven, eight seven five. It, it's, yeah, yeah. You <laughs> you did. Uh, well, <laughs> congr congratulations, Thank you. Wow. Jesse. I'm really uh, excited. I've never won a raffle before. That's great. Well, I, I mean, I'll be right back, but I'll let you get back to it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I feel like we got really distracted. Uh, listen, we are glad that you guys give us the time of day to watch our videos. And so because you have, I want to go over this month's big idea. It is an awesome big idea. I'm just so excited because I got a big pumpkin, not just a big idea. Okay, sorry. Uh, uh, you guys, this is our big idea. It's an awesome big idea. We, this month we're talking about integrity. Integrity is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. And it's such a big idea. And God wants to put it to work inside of you to change the world around you. And that is awesome. Now, um. <laughs> okay, hey, Miss Jesse. <laughs> hey, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> what are you doing? Hey, how you doing? Uh, uh. What? <laughs> uh, that's it. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> what is this? Ta da! It's the pumpkin. <laughs> this is not a pumpkin. Yeah, no. it, 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 it's there. No. Sure, sure it is. No, yeah. no, that's, yeah. <laughs> this is not a pumpkin. Yeah, I mean, well, it is, so. <laughs> but it's not. I, it's a bag. Why, yeah, well, you're, you should open the bag. I don't want to open the bag. Open it's the bag, Mr. Black, Jesse. unmarked bag. Okay, okay but Alicia, uh, this open, is. Open the bag, open the bag. Yeah, so it, it's there. It's all there. <laughs> it's all there. 
This is pumpkin guy. Pumpkin goodness. Yeah, and trust me, there is plenty more where that came from. This is just one of 25 bags. 25 bags? <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. I mean, you hit the jackpot with no, this no, no, one. No, no, hold on. You can this make a lot of pumpkin pie with that. <laughs> okay, this is not what you advertised. Sure it is. No, it is not. You, that was what you advertised, a giant pumpkin yes. as big as a minivan. Yes, well. This is not that. That's just, that is the pumpkin. That, this is just, it's just in a different state of being. State of being? Yeah. You know, like ice is still water. Okay, Mr. Jesse, hold on. No, you know, no, you see no, what no. I'm saying here? Alicia, <laughs> Alicia, this what, we're what? talking. We we are taking time out of these kids' days so they can watch a video, so they can learn about this month's big idea. It's in. It's in. Intelligence. No, it's integrity. Integrity. Oh, okay. Integrity. Integrity okay. is choosing to be truthful, truthful in whatever you say and, and do. do. Yeah. Okay, so it does not really seem like you are practicing integrity. You made it sound like I was going to win a giant, the well, world's largest pumpkin. Well, you did. It's just in 25 facts. Okay, Alicia, <laughs> that's not what I expected to sound what you made it sound okay, like. Okay, 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 okay. Ms. Okay, Mr. Jesse. Okay, you're, you're right. You're right. I, you know what? Here's the thing. I, 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 was, I was trying to pick up this pumpkin, and it's a pretty big pumpkin. Okay? You went and to I pick this pumpkin up I by went yourself? To, I went to go pick up a pumpkin on my little tiny truck, and I, I was just driving along, and it fell off of the oh, truck, well, and pumpkin guts went everywhere in a million pieces, and I didn't know what to do because I already sold all of these tickets okay, okay, okay. for the raffle, and they're yeah, expecting okay. a large, yes, okay, large pumpkin. Okay. Do you see? Yes, That's we see. Okay, pumpkin. okay. All right. Well, listen. Calm down. It's okay. What? The, uh, well, what am I gonna do? I, I mean, understand. The, the, I hear, the I raffle now, and I sold yes. all the tickets, okay. and I let everyone down. No, no, and no, the no, fundraiser, no. the fundraiser is completely ruined okay, now. Okay, I hear what you were saying, and yes, this is a very difficult situation to be in. Okay, but listen, the honest thing here. I tell you what, you can keep my three dollars. I'm not worried about the three dollars. Okay. But <laughs> I do think for everyone else that bought tickets in the raffle, the truthful thing to do. Would be to return that money. Yes, okay? that you're would, right. That you're right. right. That would be that would be the right thing to okay, do. Okay, but I do you're appreciate right. you showing initiative. What, what exactly? What what fundraiser were you trying to help out? Oh, it's the back pocket fund. <laughs> the back pocket fund. I've never heard of that. Is it some? Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's my back pocket. Okay, <laughs> so Alicia, give me my three dollars. Oh, okay, okay. This I, is not I the same. Uh, I listen. I, you're gonna put a lot of smiles on. I, my yeah, face, uh -huh. three but three okay, it's, yeah, it's in the back. It's in the back. I'll go get it. I'll go get it. Okay, like, well, if you're going like to go, why don't you take your pumpkin guts, okay, and you can take that off, too. I'm really okay. sorry about okay. this, guys. <laughs> really derailed. Hey, maybe the coffee shop needs some pumpkin spice. No, That's they a do great not idea. Need pump, do not okay. try to sell that to the co Okay. Okay, sorry. All right, well, today we have an absolutely true story about a guy who had some trouble learning about integrity himself. Let's check it out. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story. Well, hello everyone. My name is Miss Michaela and I am super excited to be here with you this week because I actually get the privilege of telling you our Bible story. Now our Bible story this week is actually a great example of how not to have integrity. You're probably thinking usually our stories tell us about examples that we should follow or things that we should do. But we can learn a lot from the Bible of the people who make unwise choices just as much as we can learn from the people who make wise choices. Now, our story today comes out of the book of 2 Kings. And the uh, first and second Kings are books in the Old Testament. And they tell the stories of the kings that were in Israel. And they also have stories about prophets. Now, prophets are people that just... Uh, told the people of Israel about messages that God gave them that God wanted them to hear. And that's where our story begins today. We're going to be talking about a prophet named Elisha. Now Elisha, like I said, was a prophet from God and he had a trusted servant named Gehazi. Now at the time that our story was going on, the Israelites, they weren't obeying what God wanted them to do. And they were actually at war with a nation named Aram. 
there was a man named Naaman, and he was an army commander for the nation of Aram. And he actually had a skin disease. There were horrible rashes all over him. The nation of Aram was attacking Israel. And at that time, they took a lot of the Israelites captive. And there was even a young girl that they took captive from Israel. And Naaman took this young girl to be a servant for his wife. So the young girl was the servant at Naaman's house, and he saw, she saw how Naaman was suffering from this horrible skin disease, and she knew about the prophet Elisha. So she told Naaman that he should go see Elisha in Israel and that his skin disease would be healed. And Naaman was super excited when he heard this news. So he went to his king, the king of Aram, and he told the king about Elisha who was in Israel. The king of Aram told Naaman to go see the king of Israel. And the king of Aram actually gave uh, Naaman a letter to give to the king of Israel. So Naaman went off to to see the king of Israel and gave him the letter. And when the king of Israel read the letter, he got super mad. He actually said this. This comes out of the book of 2 Kings, and this is verse 7. It says, Am I God? Can I kill people and bring them back to life? Why does this fellow send some send someone to me to be healed of his skin disease. He must be trying to pick a fight with me. So like I said, the king of Israel got really upset. But Elisha, the prophet that we were talking about earlier, he heard what was going on. And he sent a message to the king of Israel and told him to tell Naaman to go see him. And that way, he would know that there's a prophet in Israel. So Naaman set off to go see Elisha. When Naaman got to Elisha's house, Elisha sent out one of his messengers to talk to Naaman. The messenger said to go and wash yourself in the Jordan River seven times, and then you'll be pure and clean again. Now, you would think that Naaman would be excited and happy about this news, but he wasn't. He got super mad. And this is what he said, and this comes from verse 11 in 2 Kings. Naaman said, I was sure Elisha would come out to me. I thought that he would stand there and pray to the Lord his God. I thought that he would wave his hand over my skin, and then I would be healed. Naaman thought that Elisha would come out to him and meet him in person, but he got really upset when he sent a messenger to see him instead. And so Naaman went away angry. But on the way back to Aram, one of Naaman's servants stopped him and convinced him to go and at least try what Elisha had said. So after he had agreed, he went to the Jordan River, and he did what the messenger said. He dipped seven times in the Jordan River, and after that, his skin was healed. Naaman was so excited, and he went to see Elisha at his house again, and he wanted to offer him a gift. But Elisha refused the gift. He told him that he didn't want anything. But Naaman said, I will promise that I will only worship the true God for the rest of my life. And then he went back to Israel. Now, we're going to talk about Gehazi, which was Elisha's servant, like we said before. He heard that Elisha didn't want to take the gift from Naaman, and he thought that that wasn't good enough. He actually said this. This comes out of the Second Kings, verse 20. My master was too easy on Naaman from Aram. He should have accepted the gift from Naaman. I'm going to run after him, and I'm going to get something from him. So Gehazi ran after Naaman, and he told Naaman that Elisha wanted 75 pounds of silver and two sets of clothes. Now Naaman thought Gehazi was telling the truth, so he agreed, and he actually gave him twice the amount of silver that he had asked for. Now Gehazi had gotten what he came for, and he went back to Elisha's house, but he tried to hide the gifts. Now Elisha had knew what happened, but he asked Gehazi and tried to give him a chance to tell the truth. But again, Gehazi lied to Elisha. And he said that he hadn't gone anywhere. But Elisha told Gehazi that he knew what had happened because his spirit had went with him. And because Gehazi lied, he was going to suffer the same disease that Naaman was suffering from for the rest of his life. Now that's where our story ends for today. And we can learn a lot about Gehazi. We learned that Because Gehazi lied, he lost the trust of one of his best friends, Elisha. And that's where our bottom line comes in. When you're not truthful, you lose trust. We need to make the wise choice and always be truthful. Because when we're not, when we're dishonest with the people that we love the most, we can lose their trust. 
So we should pray right now and ask God to help us live with integrity and to be truthful every day. So let's pray. God, thank you so much for today and thank you for the story about Gehazi. I just pray that you can help us remember that we should always be truthful because when we're not, we can lose the trust of the people that we love the most. Help us to always live with integrity. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much for participating in our online service this week for 252 Theater. We hope that you got a lot out of it, that you had some fun, and that it was also maybe just a little bit challenging to you as we talk about integrity, which is choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. Our bottom line this week is very challenging for me that when you're not truthful, you lose trust. And I bet if you were to think about it, any time that you weren't truthful, whether it was something you said or something you did, you would realize it didn't just hurt yourself, but it it hurt the relationship that you have with other people and it costs you the trust that you have with them. But the opposite of that is true as well, that when you are truthful, you gain trust. So make sure that you're choosing to be truthful in whatever you say and do. And a great reason to do that is from our memory verse this week, Proverbs 10, 9, that anyone who lives without blame walks safely, but anyone who takes her crooked path will get caught or lose trust in today's example. Well, we want to let you know one last thing that we're really excited about, and that is our uh, Studio 45 building is going to be open up, opening up very soon. We've been, our whole team has been working so hard, and uh, we're so excited to, to get this building going. Um, this is going to be an incredible opportunity for fourth and fifth graders to have a room that's just for them, uh, that's designed with them in mind to worship God and to connect with others. Uh, so that's going to be opening up the weekend of October 31st and November 1st. Also, make sure on YouTube that you check out our midweek content. We release a video every Wednesday and we talk about some really exciting things. Right now, we are matching up with uh, with Pastor Mark's series, I Follow, and we're doing I Follow for Kids. And so we have some great topics on there and we talk about some of the most important things that you need to know as a follower of Jesus. Thanks again for watching and we will see you guys again really soon.